Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Toolbox. Today I will be talking about how to find channel length modulation coefficient that is lambda from the output characteristics of MOSFET. So let's see the background before starting the demo. So this is the setup. I will be setting one test bench in the cadence and I will be varying the VDS and uh, by varying the VDS I will plot drain current. So this is the sample output. Here you can see I have pointed out uh, two uh, x y coordinates and uh, two VDS uh, corresponding to currents and using this formula I will be substituting these values and getting the lambda. Here in this case lambda is 0 0.15. So uh, let's see in the demo and how it can be done in cadence. So let's move on to the demo. So this is the setup. As you can see, I have uh, given one MOSFET with a VDS connected and VGS connected. VGS will be constant. I will be bearing VDS and plotting the drain current. So let's check it. Go to launch, ADL, analysis, choose DC, save DC operating point component parameter, select the VDS source, DC parameter, starting from 0 to maximum 1.8, apply, ok. Now for saving the instantaneous values of MOS parameters, we have to do one setup. For that, go to setup under simulation files, give one path of file that is save underscore op dot scs file. Give a path, you can give any name, just extension would be dot scs. By doing this, we will be able to save all the instantaneous values of MOS parameter. Now at output, we have to plot the drain current, select the node, we just cancel all the other nodes selected, we require only the drain. And uh, if you want to see the uh, file, it is save dot save underscore op dot scs, what it is written in the file, just operate in gedit or any editor op dot scs you will find save this is the command save m0 is to all m0 is nothing but the mosfet instance name m0 m0 is the instance name i have given the instance name is to all all the parameter this is the command i have given in the file written in the file and save it in the working directory now run it so it will give the drain current plot now select the two location uh, for my convenient let us use point marker m using m and I have set the values to 1 volt. This will be my BDS1. And another, let me uh, let me remove this vertical marker. No need. I use point marker and pointed it in, let's say, at 1.6 volt. So it will give the corresponding voltage and current. This is my y axis where I plotted drain current. This is the VDS. So this is x and this is y. Just note it down and put it in the formula to get the lambda values. So let's see by putting this values how much lambda we can uh, get from this experiment. So from demo I have collected these values 
IDA1, IDA2, VDS1 and VDS2 using this point marker uh, from two different locations in the hand plot. And I have substituted these values in the formula and I have calculated this uh, lambda value for this case is 0 0.17. So this is all about the demo of uh, lambda calculation and hope you have find some valuable information from this video. Please uh, share and subscribe my channel so that you can get more such videos. Thank you.